Hey guys, I'm Man UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. Yesterday, finally, my adapter arrived for my new lens, so I attached up my lens and decided to record the Mess of Barbarians close up. Stay tuned, guys, and enjoy the footage. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. So, guys, after patiently waiting for over two weeks, the lens adapter finally arrived yesterday, so I was so excited to get home from work, hook it up, and give it a test. Now, I got home from work and I hooked it up and I gave it a test and I think I sent you guys images on snapchat and stuff like oh look at this close up oh whoa I've done it I've done it unfortunately I didn't do it properly because on on this new lens that I've got there's an extra button on the back of the lens you have to click and twist and it locks into a, like a second gear which puts it into the mode that I need it in and I just thought it was already in that mode so I went and did the recording and the pictures without it um, so I was a bit like, oh, so I did all this testing and stuff and then I ended up waiting for my battery to charge on my DSLR and then I started to do some recording late at night and this is some of the footage I got guys, it's absolutely stunning. We also need a name for this Mesa Barberis Queen because this is the one from the v previous video, um, she's got a missing leg, she had this missing leg when she arrived to me. It wasn't in the actual test tube, so I'm guessing it was either during a nuptial flight or when she was collected um, or picked up in Spain. She probably lost it then or before being collected. Um, but as you can see, the detail is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I love this lens. It's like when she's facing you, it focuses on the head and the top of the body and the front legs and her antennas. And then when she's on a side view, You've got the incredible detail of all the hairs on her back, her muscles, the legs. It's kind of freaky in a way and kind of creepy at the same time. But it, the detail from this lens is fantastic. This is what I wanted to deliver and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. You know, I'm going to have to test around with it to make it better, uh, to get it, you know, better, maybe more lighting and stuff, just so I can get it right, just the way I want it. Um, what else was I going to say, guys? I've just got myself a supply for pharmacariums. I put an order in for six pharmacariums. They're very much like mine. You can get the one like mine in the square shape. Um, there's going to be a small, medium and a large. And there's also going to be a circle one which has got a, like an outworld in the middle and you can get that in a small, medium and large as well. I'm not going to sell them expensive. Don't expect me to go put stupid prices on there because I'm not like that. I'll probably match around Ant Kids prices or a bit cheaper if I can. Um, but it all will depend on postage as well because there's obviously people live in different countries and it cost me a fortune to send something to America, for example. It probably cost me about an extra £30 on top of the price of the former curium just to send something over to America. Um, but yeah guys, I'm going to have some pharmacariums made for Ant-Man UK and they're going to be coming hopefully in the next two weeks, they'll probably get here, yeah, probably about two weeks. Uh, also, my supplier is going to send me six Mesa Barberis Queens, now he said Queens but he said slash colonies so I don't know what he means by that. It could be that they're in test tubes and they've got like maybe 15 workers, okay? So they could be ready to go into a pharmacarium but they too will also be for sale on my website when I've had some work done it done on the website to fix the website because at the moment it doesn't fit every single monitor. So if you look at it on a smaller monitor, it looks a bit weird. If you look at it on my 1080p monitor and my uh, 1440p monitor, it fits fine. So. Um, there's a few bugs and stuff that need fixing on that. Anyway guys, um, what I was going to say now, I'm also on Snapchat, I know I've said this loads of times and a majority of you have added me on there, but if you ever want to have a chat with me, you know, I will chat with you, you can come over to and add me up on Snapchat as Antman UK, and I'll gladly have a conversation with you about ant keeping and you can just talk to me in general. Um, I love the conversations I have with everybody on Snapchat and especially I love talking with you guys who are commenting on my videos, I appreciate it. Anyway guys, I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of my footage because I've been talking far too much now. I'd just like to say a big thank you to you all for your support. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you in the next video. I'm on UK.